After months of very little from a much-awaited Star Trek Strange New Worlds, the adventures of Anson Mount's Captain Christopher Pike aboard the USS Enterprise, we've finally got some more info about the show, including an official poster for the series. Let's check it out, discuss some new details, and talk more about the show. Welcome to Trek Central, I'm your host Captain Jack, let's get right into it. Okay, so Star Trek Strange New Worlds was announced a while ago, and we know it's finally coming to our screens on May 5th of this year, but we haven't really seen much of it, but at least we've gotten some more insight into the show today. So on February 1st, aka today, we got the TV Critics Association event, or TCA as we like to call it, and this gave us a small but still new first look into Star Trek Strange New Worlds, and a little bit of a wider Trek universe which we'll discuss later in the video. Okay, let's break down this news and see what we learn along as talking about that poster as well. Of course, like always, if you do want to keep up to date on all the latest Star Trek news, lore and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at Trek Central. You can also follow us on social media for daily updates on the Star Trek universe. As always, please let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, because if you're talking about Star Trek, then we want to hear about it. Okay, engage. Okay, so first off, let's look at our brand new poster. This is showcasing in full glory the USS Enterprise. We can see it hovering above what we can safely assume is the Mojave Desert, despite the looming moon in the background, with what is probably Pike's horse. For those who don't know much about Captain Christopher Pike, he is very much a horse guy. I mean, his first appearance in Star Trek, in the cage, was seen in the Talosian vision with horses in the Mojave Desert. Pike grew up in Mojave and has a house there, along with two horses which are called Tango and Mary Lou. Now I kind of just hope that Pike has some sugar cubes in his pocket, a favour of Tango's apparently. Now, you might have only seen Captain Pike in Star Trek Discovery and not in The Cage, which was the earned pilot of the original series. Also you've got the Menage, where they use archive footage from The Cage, so you sort of know how much of a horse person Pike is. He's also got his Captain's Ready Room with pictures of Mojave Desert and statues of horses as well, kind of gives the clue away. Pike is very much one of those people who is a liking horses and makes her entire personality around it. So you know, we just love him. We even have a mention of his fondness of horses from Una aka number one in the short trek Q&A, with Una saying he is utterly unsentimental except when it comes to horses. Of course we have to talk about the Enterprise, it's looking majestic with the sun only slightly being seen peering behind it. It's definitely our original NCC-1071 Enterprise. No bloody A, B, C, or D. It still looks very much like the Enterprise we see in Star Trek Discovery Season 2, with the cutouts in the nacelle struts on the ship. But hopefully we do get some beauty shots of the ship during the show, I mean of course it will, and other ships of the time. Now talking ships off of the time, and going off slightly on a tangent as we ever do so well here on Trek Central, I do really hope that we get to see some starships from species we know and love, especially looking at the Denoblians, which will be a great add some extra tie-in from Star Trek Enterprise's era of Trek. Of course, with the recent trailer for Star Trek Picard, we've seen some original ships from the Trek universe, and we've recently found that these models were given to the Picard team by the team over at Hero Collector, who make the official Star Trek ship models. This could easily be done for other shows, given the team over at Strange New Worlds the models for Denoblian Medical Ship, for example. Just a wish. Please, CBS, come on, a man wants something. Okay, the font used for the title on the post is very original series, giving its concept of being around Kirk's era and the words, for Frontier is waiting. It's just getting us so excited for the show. Alex Kurtzman himself made a comment very much saying that our show speaks to the final frontier when it's in its infancy. So we'll be seeing a more bold frontier for our explorers to explore, that's a mouthful, just like in Star Trek Enterprise and of course the original series. So I'm very much looking forward to that. Especially if they can do some tie into civilizations we've met in the next generation, but have had their first contact way before. It's a great way to connect the universe and establish how Pike was a great captain, considering he has cities and medals named after him in the far future. As the font is very original series, we do have to make mention of the fact that Strange New Worlds is returned to the episodic style of storytelling, with individual one off episodes, but still having the serialized element in regards to characters. An interesting part of the original series, and a lot of old treks, was that characters would go through very traumatic events, looking at you Chief O'Brien, and then be completely fine by the next episode, when realistically, that's not how life works. It's great the show is going back to this episodic style, but still having other current trek shows do their own thing. The Star Trek universe at the moment is very much a buffet table, and you can enjoy what you would like, and that's perfectly fine, but each show is pushing a frontier, see what it did there, in its own way. Having even the Trek shows represent the Vulcan ideal of Idic, infinite diversity in infinite combinations. I'm quite proud of myself for that frontier reference. 
Now, I will say, I kind of expected a trailer, but oh well, I guess we'll have to wait even more for an actual teaser or full-blown trailer for Star Trek Strange New Worlds. If I had to make an educated guess, I'd say we'd see a full-blown trailer for Strange New Worlds on First Contact Day later this year, that being April 5th. Let me know if you take that bet in the comment section below. Let's talk about some of the comments we got at TCA 2022, and what we can expect not only from Star Trek Strange New Worlds, but from other looks in the Star Trek universe right now. Ever since we got our character reveals for Strange New Worlds, a character that sparked so much fan discussion online is Lan Noonien Singh. Obviously, this discussion was on whether or not she related to Khan Noonien Singh, one of the most iconic villains in not only Trek, but TV and film altogether. Well, it was finally said by Akiva Goldsman, co show on the Star Trek Strange New Worlds, that she is related to Khan for sure, and that deal will unfold throughout the series. It's definitely going to be interesting to see how this develops into this show, especially considering what we know Ahura and Spock can't figure this out without the information ruining the original episode in which Khan appears. That's definitely a fan concern online right now. Another character who fans just can't wait to meet is Cadet Noita Ahura, played by Celia Rose Gooding, and this is a cadet and not the lieutenant we meet in the original series. Celia said she's very excited to bring an unsure fly to a take on Ahura with Michelle Nichols having a level of understanding in her performance that made Uhura a fan favourite. We also get to see Uhura in the original series taking over positions when required, such as the science station usually managed by Mr. Spock, so maybe we can see that come into place during the show where she learns these skills. We also have some news that according to the Directors Guild of Canada's production list, the second season of Star Trek Strange New Worlds is meant to kick off filming, today on February 1st, with director Chris Fisher taking the helm. Strange New Worlds was confirmed for a second season earlier this year, so let's hope for more glorious adventures of Captain Pike's Enterprise. However, Strange New Worlds was not the only Trek show to get a little TCA love from the event, with the Section 31 show and another yet unknown show being mentioned. In regards to the Section 31 show, it was said this show is still in development, and we should expect some news sometime soon. I know a lot of people, including myself, are very skeptical about this show, especially since we've been hearing that it's been coming since around about 2019. But I will say, I do look forward to when the show even comes on screen, whenever that is. The show has a great opportunity to connect the two seemingly integrous notions of what Section 31 is between Discovery and Deep Space Nine, but the show has a great opportunity to show Section 31 becoming a more shady, elusive entity we know and eventually run across in the 24th century. The other show mentioned was more not mentioned in a sense, with Alex Kurtzman saying there is another one, but I'm going to be rather tight-lipped about that. My bet is on a Starfleet Academy show based in the 32nd century. Now of course, with Mary Wiseman's Tilly seemingly going off of the US to Discovery in Season 4 of Discovery to teach of a newly reopened Starfleet Academy, it would make sense with the rumours we're going to get a Starfleet Academy show. With it being then set in the 32nd century, there are already some preview assets and props to use for the series, to reduce costs but also integrate something else into the canon. We already have a group of cadets we were introduced to, and of Kovic and Tilly, though I'm sure it'll be an interesting show. Just think Kovic, aka David Cronenberg, could be an important character, along with Odin Ferris, Admiral Vance, or Dadmiral should I say. Now that's all that was revealed at the TCA event. Are you looking forward to the next missions of the USS Enterprise under Captain Pike in Strange New Worlds? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Because as usual, if you're talking about Star Trek, then we want to hear about it. Like always, if you want to keep up to date on all the latest Star Trek news and more, then make sure to hit that subscribe button to never miss a video from the team here at Trek Central. You can also follow us on social media or join our community Discord server. For now, I've been Captain Jack. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Live long and prosper, my friends. Goodbye.